Thank you to all the supporters of the Forget Me Not Foundation. For 10 years, you have allowed us to support families suffering the loss of their children. Your generosity has helped hundreds of grieving parents, but first and foremost are Melissa and I. With your help, we have been able to keep Emma's memory alive by working on our mission, and we can't thank you enough. At the heart of that mission is providing bereavement training for healthcare professionals. The Forget Me Not Foundation has sponsored 10 training sessions since 2013. Nothing is more impactful for families than having a trained nurse to guide them while suffering a sudden loss. Having a trained nurse in the hospital makes a huge difference in these parents' lives because this is going to affect them for the rest of their lives, how this moment in time goes. These parents will be 80 years old and they'll remember that the infant that they lost and they'll remember how the experience in the hospital was. We left the hospital with nothing. No memento, no footprint, no handprint, nothing. I'm not sure what I would do with them, but I wish I had them. I wish I had some physical representation of him. These patients have never experienced this before, so we as the professionals, you know, they're looking to us for reassurance. I will always remember this doctor's voice and his words, saying very little with an accent of some sort in a cold attempt to soften the blow. The following words came out of his mouth that all baby lost parents remember. I'm sorry to confirm that there's no heartbeat. One of the most difficult things in my job as an obstetrician that I have to do in practice is to tell a mother that her baby has passed away. Um, and the training that this bereavement conference provides is so vital to providing necessary care to these patients. I'm wondering um, if any of the medical professionals who were with you at the time of your loss, if they ever reached out to you again six months down the line, a year after, they kept in touch with you at all. Um, I never had anyone reach out to me afterwards, but I, I would have appreciated it. I think somebody said, there comes a point after your loss where everyone else moves on. And you don't, not quite. When I heard the parents speak, it changed everything for me. Mm -hmm. The care that I give is not the care that I gave before. I listened to them and heard them and felt their pain. Losing a baby is the most isolating thing you can go through. You feel like it's you're the only person in the world that it's happened to. This is what turned around everything. Um, I always tried to give good care, but I just now realized the impact that has on you. We have the whole staff encouraging us to spend time with him and those were the most special hours that we got with him. And I'm so glad that they had the trained professionals there to help us through the process because, you know, you're just, you're not thinking straight. Went to a delivery for a 22-weeker who was too small to resuscitate. Mom was under general anesthesia, so we weren't able to share this moment with her. We took the baby and put him on his mom's chest and put her arms around him, and we got family pictures. We were able to tell mom afterwards that her son died in her arms. At that moment, I was so grateful to have had the Forget Me Not Foundation training, and every time there's a loss, another nurse tells me the same thing. I just want to thank the Forget Me Not Foundation for doing this because it starts with education and helping the staff in the hospitals help people like me.